Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have Nick, I brought him back with me for another motherfucking video. Also, he literally just got home like, like an a couple, hour ago. Yeah, like an hour ago. So I was like, Nick, I need you to like spend time with me because I love you. I didn't expect to be on the channel back this quick. I'm not gonna it's lie. It's quick. And do you know why I'm excited, you guys? Do you know why I'm excited? Because today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little, like a little review. Like, yeah. like a little, what would, you, what would you, I actually don't even know what we'd call this. It. It'd be like, um, what would you call it? A like, judge moment? A judge moment. Like a oh my god, it makes it sound like a little intense. Yeah, the thing is, but we're not professionals. <laughs> True. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I thought it'd be really fun to just sit with Nick. Nick went to fit him, so he knows a bit about fashion. But I thought it'd be really cute to have Nick sit here, help me go through some of these fashion looks from the Met Gala, because I thought it'd be really, really fun. I never see people talk about makeup, I always see them talk about the outfits. Yeah, so sure. I thought it'd be really fun to talk about the makeup looks as well, because I do makeup, Nick does outfits, fashion clothes. I haven't even seen really any of the outfits. And he hasn't seen anything, so it's even more exciting. So you guys, that's what today's video is going to be. I'll Obviously, with our opinions, take it with a grain of salt. It is not that serious. It's literally just fun and shits and giggles. Shits and giggles. The fact that these people are even at the Met Gala is ten times Huge above the fact that we're even <laughs> that we're sitting in this. Fucking yeah, room. we're sitting in this right room right now, judging now. judging but... outfits. But we're not at Coachella. No, we're... we have no say. I just thought it would be fun to have a say. To have a say. <laughs> Well, as always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please go and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll leave Nick's Instagram linked down below so you guys can check him out as well. He was just on my channel, so I'm sure you've seen him quite often at this point. We should just have a joint channel. That's what I'm saying. Like, like fuck it, you know what I mean? My makeup, though, is so... <sighs> Sick, <man. laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so I did a tweet. I wanted you guys to give me your guys' feedback and say what were your guys' favorites and what were your least favorites of the Met Gala. So, you guys, the theme of the Met Gala this year was camp. What exactly is camp? Camp, to me, means extroverted, outlandish, over-the-top, yeah, dramatic no drag. Look at Life's a Drag, a shameless plug. We have campy. Camp, that is what the theme of this year's ball is. Don't okay. just be judging off of like a carpet. This is the camp carpet. That's okay. Campy. Campy. Let's start it off with a bang, because <clears throat> I'm really shook it about this. <gasps> Billy Porter. Okay, this is Billy Porter. Okay, honestly, my opinion, I think this is so sickening. Tens for the gays. Ten points for the gays. <laughs> Gryffindor, we get ten points. I actually really like it. Isn't it I cool? It. Yeah. I just feel like it's I a really- I wonder, like who the designers are for these. Or obviously they're all the important ones, but I don't which know one specifically made this I have no one. idea. This kind of looks like... You know what it reminds me? It reminds me of Golden Snitch in Harry Potter. Like he's about to like Guys, take off. Golden Snitch sass like Falcon from fucking the Avengers? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Yes! Oh my god, yes! That's from Avengers! That's wing right there. That's, that's his, his wing. wing. Also, the makeup, you guys, I love that it's a very cohesive golden look. His entrance was perfection. He literally entered on this. Like oh, being oh, carried in. Like are you joking? He is the freaking person from 300. The... Pharaoh. Oh my from... god, he looks like the fucking Pharaoh. Oh my god, he does. <gasps> that looks like, like him. That's the Pharaoh from freaking 300. From 300. Period. But honestly, all in all, I would say 10 for Billy Porter. I like it. Yeah. Gaga? Okay, we, ha we have to talk about Gaga because people should give me shit for not thinking she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> she has a very unique face, I guess. She does have a very unique look to her. She had four outfit changes. Mm -hmm. That was the gag That's of the century. She had literally, century. like, the changes. I think that she really won the gala for me. Also, her makeup in this. What? Like, it is, is so I really fuck with cool. Love. Whatever the hell they did on her eyes, it's so dope. Let's, look, let's really zoom in. So they obviously did, like, the bigger dolly look to put the white and the black, but they almost got, like, tinsel paper, cut it out to be, like, lashes, and stuck them on, and then glued these large teardrop rhinestones to her face. I mean, it, it's not that hard to recreate. Like, you could easily recreate yeah, this look, but it's just with the outfit, like, that huge train. Look at this train. Oh, my like, God. Oh my god. Holy crap. Period. And then she it went to this one with the black umbrella and then she was like living her little umbrella like so did umbrella she have academy to, like, go fantasy. Back down and change no, the whole no, thing no. Again. Like she literally was like, boom, next outfit. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's definitely some Lady Gaga shit to go down. No, I honestly so of the four looks, you guys, I think the pink one is the best. Like I, I think that's the, the most the gorgeous I extravagant. Like the on the top. Me too. I love it. Yeah. I think that she won the Met Gala. One thousand percent. And I love it. Oh, we have to talk about that one. <laughs> we need to have a discussion about that one. Next is Harry Styles. I swear to God, he broke the internet with this one. What the hell? This like, like a Jaden Smith in a dress moment. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like theme, that. But like, but to just me, oh my God. Just, <laughs> I like the Jaden Smith in the dress. Don't get me wrong. 
The thing is, is that this is camp, right? So I love that he didn't just wear a suit. So I really, really enjoyed that he went out of his comfort zone. It looks like he went out of his comfort zone to do like this like sheer blouse with this like, you know, billowed pant. And I love that he has like his nails painted and he has rings and like jewelry. He has like yeah. accessories in the house. The that he, and he has like he this really cute pearl earring living for the little pearl earring that he's wearing. I personally like the look. I say it's a I'm win. gonna take an L. Okay, so he gives him an L, but I give him picture, a W. I saw a picture earlier of this look and it looked a lot worse than this right here. <laughs> A lot worse. So I was like, this is all right. You're like, now that you see the okay, whole fit. Like, okay, let's go ahead and move on to one that I'm not living for, is Carly Kloss's look. I hate it as well. Oh, hatred. I okay, hate Nick, hate is a strong word. Okay, I very much dislike this okay, look. Okay, much looks like it's like nicer. Christmas, like, wrapping paper. <gasps> like, Nick, it does. That is exactly what it looks like. Oh my God, it really freaking does. The thing like, is, on a regular carpet, cute. It's you fine. Stick Gaga's bow on this, you have a Christmas present. <laughs> You no! have a Christmas present. Her makeup looks really cute, but I think it's, be, I mean. It's really simple. Like, it's simple, it's cute, it's golden, has like a very, but like for thing, campy, nah, for to, campy. I'm girl, you have to come way harder than that. She just could have gone harder, especially cause she's like, you know, a supermodel. So I'm rooting for you, Carly, but I'm gonna say a no on this one for me. An no, L. no, this one me too. Fuck, I feel bad. <gasps> Jared Leto. The Gucci head thing that okay, they you guys, have going on. Honestly, yeah. I live. I like it. I love the camp factor of this. I think it's the epitome of camp. I love the like Dracula esque. It's super weird. Fit. Like, it's vibe. weird. It's just. It's weird, weird. You and got, it works though. And like, you saw like Sean Mendes holding like the head and like other photos like he passed on his head to him. Like shit was weird. But this was, is like, kind of like a Jaden Smith holding his dreads like moment that's from like he at the Met Gala like last year, a couple uh -huh. a year before that. He cut off all his dreads like right before and then he. And he's, and you're he, so right. Remember he was, like, this? Holding him like as an accessory. I like the accessories with it. I like that like the whole like red outfit. It looks very like gothic meets vampire. I think meets... this is from a Gucci runway though, because like there I remember oh. a Gucci show runway show. They had like all of them were holding their own head and, like all. Yeah. I say win. I say win for sure. Let's go on to Celine Dion. Can we just talk about the fact that Miss Celine Dion is as old as she is, She's and she looks for sure. like this? She's like, period. Honestly, I love a this win. Dress. I, love I love it. I think dress. it's fucking phenomenal. And the fact that she like performs it in Vegas, this is such a Vegas showgirl <laughs> outfit to me. Like it's literally mm, screaming really Vegas showgirl. Vegas showgirl, come hither, look at my leg. Like come get it. <laughs> I wish that the feathers on her head were a little bit more billowed out. Like they mm. weren't such like twigs. Like a little twi yeah, I don't like that. Cause it's giving me very Yzma vibes from the oh, first group. my God. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, she freaking slayed it and it's a win for me. Yeah, I like it, it's a win. Oh my God, I live. Okay, next, nice. Emily Blunt. Bitch. I love this one, this one's dope. I'm obsessed with this outfit from Emily Blunt. I think it's so gorga. It's so pretty. It looks like it's made out of gold, like gold ribbon. flakes, yeah. Kind of like gold like flakes. Big gold flakes. I love her makeup. It's super simple. Her outfit's doing all the work for her. Like she doesn't really have to do anything more than just stand there and look like an Oscar. Gorgeous. Let's talk about, okay, this is another one that people were like rioting over. Kim Kardashian. It's oh, a so water it, illusion. Does it light up? Oh, no, it's water, water like water droplets because her hair is like wet, her body's wet, but she's dry. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm. Because mm. see, this is the thing. So I actually personally really, really, really like it. I think it's beautiful. I think the whole idea of it is really. I cool. like the idea behind it, but like it just, I don't think the Do water think droplets came enough? how they should have came. Like, I don't know how else. You, to put water drops, it's like, but <laughs> like, how would you even do exactly, it? Exactly, I don't know, I don't know how. Her makeup, her makeup is bomb. I love like dark shadows. Like, oh my God, this like makeup that. is truly like, Let it shit. Mario, of course, is the one that did this. And honestly, he slayed it. I think her body looks sickening. The dress itself like fits on her really well. And yeah, it looks like it's wet really on well. her. I like it, I'm gonna yeah, give it a win. I actually kind of like that part. I would give it a win, honestly, because I like some attributes of it. Yeah. The water droplets itself. Kind like of the actual like, water droplets don't you don't do like. It for me, but like, other than that, everything else is dope. Okay, let's do Ezra Miller. Bitch, 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 bitch. Oh my God. What the, <laughs> this is like Bad Bunny to like the extreme extreme. Literally? You know how Bad Bunny has that little like eye in the is it forehead? Yes. Yeah, this is like. Is this not that? Okay, like, to me, honestly, this is the most this dopest is, shit. I've ever seen. Yeah, I like I like how he has a regular face, man. Yeah, and that's his uh, that's his face. Like he pulled oh, off it. It's like face? this. Yes, that's super. Dope. And I like the fit with I it. Like I like that it's like, like corseted, but it's still like an actual like suit. I like, I like it, it all. Snapchat filter face. I love it. Dead ass. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go into some Miss YouTubers now because they were at the gala too, which is like. What the that's, that's freaking insane. insane. Yeah, YouTubers even there. A couple incredible. years ago, if you told like people YouTubers were there, like they'd be like, "Yeah, right." Why? This is the one I got them tweeted the most about was James Charles's outfit and his makeup for the Met Gala. So I want to talk about something really quickly because I feel like a lot of people are like skipping over this fact. He was dressed by Alexander Wang, 
And when you're dressed by a designer to go to an event like this, like the Met Gala, you don't pick your outfit. You don't get to choose what you want to wear. And I feel like a lot of people are like bashing him for being like, oh, this is Coachella part three, but he didn't actually choose the outfit. When you look at his makeup, his makeup is jaw droppingly Fire. beautiful. Fire. I'm literally obsessed with his makeup. It looks fan fucking tastic. It actually reminds me of Kim's makeup from last year, the green smoky eye that she had going on. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the outfit myself personally, but I think that people are like bashing James way too hard on this. I just think the fact that he's even there is incredible and people That's are not giving him enough credit for even being there in the first place. If y'all wanna hate on the outfit, hate on Alexander Wang, not on James. I'm just saying. Let's go to the next YouTuber. It is Liza Koshi and the same thing applies because a lot of people were talking about like they sent me this photo a lot of this photo in my mentions about not being one of the best i think that she was dressed by balmon again she does not pick the outfit that she wears i don't like it personally it reminds me of the boat challenge from drag race back in the day i don't know that I see it's like houndstooth, obviously, but like- Yeah, this houndstooth. is camp though. Like mm -hmm. this is actually on brand, on theme. It is. It's campy, it's extravagant, it's over the top, it's extra. I love the embellishment she has on the arm. Like if that whole, if the whole outfit was just that, I'd be like- It would be, yeah. So let's go ahead and go into Nick and Priyanka. I think Nick looks so good. And I love that he didn't like shit out on this one and he actually like tried. And he's wearing like this really cool like white suit Bedazzled shoes, bedazzled watch, bedazzled undershirt. The earpieces are dope. Yeah. Mustache, I would say, should go. <laughs> other than that, it looks amazing. Priyanka, on the other hand. Hmm. hmm. What in the hell is she reminding me of? The um, Queen of Hearts from fucking Alice in Wonderland. Oh my God, yes. That like a exactly silver version. What, what she <gasps> is. She's giving me that. Oh vibe my God. Sure. So this is the thing, like, I know people like the whole idea of camp is sickening and I live for the camp theme, but I think that people are like taking camp too far to be like into the tacky realm. You get, and and you, gotta, you have to yeah, edit. You have to edit a little bit. You have to be like- It's hard though with hmm. celebrities though, cause like celebrities get like a pass kind of, cause they could wear insane weird shit and it mm -hmm. like works for them. And it works. they're kind of celebrities. But like the YouTubers but get like, ripped apart for yeah. it cause it's like they're YouTubers, so. Because her outfit is so outlandish and so bold and so intense, I think that if they were just gone a little bit softer with the yeah. face, like, and oh my God, do you know what they should have done? It's cause for example, her her like tights are rhinestone, she has a lot of rhinestones going on. If they would have done like a rhinestoned eye on both eyes, Keep it like a soft, like that lip color could have been fine, but keep it like, like a, a subtle, yeah. but still like under bold and blingy. That could have been so been hard, sickening. Yeah. But oh my God, we have to talk about Katy Perry. Oh, Katy Perry, but I haven't seen hers, but I'm pretty sure it's crazy. It is 1000%. Oh <laughs> my gosh, what's happening right now? I'm gonna try first. I have to say that this is the epitome of camp. I think that if anyone was gonna do it right, it was Katy Perry. She does come to slay every fucking year. Mm -hmm. She looks like she could be hung up in Nana's living room. And like dangling the little like Thanksgiving, things. yeah. Mm -hmm. but... She reminds me of like Pierre from fucking Beauty and the Beast. Pierre. <laughs> 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 Literally, oh that's so funny. Like, that's I like camp. it though. I, I don't know I why it. I like it because it's just, I don't know, weird, but I like it. And she's just that bitch. She can pull it off. She's that bitch. Okay, we have to talk about her because she's the queen every year for me. I wait for her. Zendaya. Okay, literally Zendaya. Um, she killed it, that is so dope. Oh, and then she left like her glass slipper on one of the things. Oh my God. Like, are you, like her commitment dope. makes me want to scream. 10 out of 10, Zendaya wins every fucking year. She's the queen she of it. Met. She just is, that's it, period, on period. Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner. Honestly, I live. I'm biased, it doesn't even matter what this man wears. He's a goat, so I just love it all. He's a goat, this apparently. This is like, very different, it's dope. See, okay, this is the I thing. I like it though. I love, 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 love Kylie's outfit. It's the epitome of camp to me. I love that it's like this like cool embellishment on the body and then like these huge ruffles on the like arm. Like it's just really fun. I love the purple wig the to go with can, it. Like the whole thing through. really just ties together very, very nicely. Okay, Sean Mendes. Okay, we're gonna have to, we need to talk about Sean Mendes. <laughs> This is the thing. <clears throat> you guys know my love for Shawn Mendes runs deep like the rivers of the Nile. <laughs> but when it comes to the outfit oh, with camp, on, on brand with camp, on brand with camp here, we're talking about camp. He's in like this cool YSL outfit. I don't think it's on camp. Not at all. He looks great. He's very handsome. He looks absolutely beautiful, obviously, because <laughs> he's fucking Shawn Mendes. But I think that when it comes to the outfit itself, it's not camp. Like a mariachi jacket. Oh my God, uh, yes. It looks like a mariachi jacket. Heavy stitching around them. You could have came way harder than that. Okay, so Janelle Monet. I don't, I mean, personally, I don't really like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I honestly 
love it. It's so on theme, it's so on brand. I love the titty piece with the lashes. Like I think that the whole thing is so fucking cool. And I love that she really went there and took the outfit there. Okay, let's do a Cardi B really quickly. What do we think? I love it. I do too. I love it. I honestly she looks live. Like a phoenix just like rising from the ashes. Rising from the ashes. But she never got murdered or killed, so I don't know what the fuck that she thought that she was gonna do this with us. <laughs> I love the whole headpiece like going around her neck. When I'm looking at it for like a long time, I start to like it less, so I try to like that. do a quick look at it from a, a glance, like from over here, like I like Oh my the whole, gosh. Like the mess is pretty. <laughs> we have Cody Fern in the house. In the the house. house. I don't like it. I, I love like Cody it. Fern more than words can describe. I love his face. I love the face, I love the headpiece. I like the hair. I love the hair. The finger waves are so freaking nice and good. Honestly, the whole top part to me is everything. I think I get kind lost at the, the shoe. Khaki, just like straight leg pants into the blue, like cowboy boot shoe, like, ah. That's an L for me. <sighs> I would have to say it's an L and a W, like, I can see that. So next, you guys, we have Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas. I need to talk about Sophie's face first because honestly, her face is so fucking beat and painted and I love the blue smoky eye. It pulls it back. From... That's Sansa. Oh my God. Yes. What the hell? It's like, Sansa. Wait, why does she look so familiar? Are they yes. dating? Yes. I'm so late. On You're that. behind, dude. You're hella behind. Her makeup is phenomenal. Now let's talk about the fit. I just feel like I want more. I feel like I had a sip of water, but I want a jug. <laughs> I feel like they just use crazy colors because of the theme, but like the outfits themselves aren't like- I love that they match enough. though. I love that they're I love coherent they, I love and cohesive. 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 I love seeing like matchy looks. Mm -hmm. I just, for me, this is more of a L. I don't know, from, I like her legs, but I don't like her top. But guess what? What the fuck do I know? Nothing <laughs> about fashion. <laughs> Halsey looks Idiot. so good. Oh, she's so Halsey? Uh huh? Oh my gosh, she's- A warrior princess? Bummer. Court. Honestly, I would go straight for Halsey. Like she's truly fucking perfect to me and it terrifies me how much I love her. This is a Wonder Woman vibe she got going. Oh, uh, right. On fleek, the tattoo though. Oh. Next is Michael B. Jordan. Can we just talk about Michael B. fucking Jordan? I live. And I live that's not a like plain it. ass black suit. Like I love it. he has these embellishments. See, the thing is like for a straight man, Camp, I feel like this is camp for a straight man. Yeah. For a gay, this is, you know, a nine to five. <laughs> this is every day, bro. <laughs> for but real. for a straight man, this is camp to me. And I think Michael looks stunning. I would definitely wear that. I know so you dope. would. I would. I like I'm sure if I stuck with too. Glossy Win. Black. Yeah, this looks dope, looks dope. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. I think Liam could have done more. A lot more. That's just a black suit that you could have <laughs> got at fucking men's warehouse. Miley. I live for the dress because it's so camp. You know what's funny? Like this kind of reminds me of Liza's outfit, but backwards. Like yeah. Liza's in the front, but Miley's is in the back. I think if Liza's would have been in the back, it, it would have been, been there. Dope. Honestly, I, I really love Miley's. I would say Miley's is like a win. Miley. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to end the video, but honestly, I just looked at Taryn Egerton one more time, and I had to say something because this is the T. This is his look, right? But the thing is, like, he's playing Elton John in Rocket Man. Like, you have to come Elton John ready. Like, I just feel like he could have done more with this look. I think he's so handsome, and I love him in Kingsman, like, so much. He's dope in Kingsman. But I just think that he could have done a bit more. What, what is on his jacket? Like, what are they? It's, they look like little stitches. They look like oh, sprinkles. Oh, wait. They look, oh, Those my God, they are look sprinkles. Like sprinkles. Black oh. and white sprinkles. They're little spring. They, I think they really are. They might be Are they edible? Dead serious. Mm -hmm. But I just... Ugh. I don't like it. And that's about it, you guys. That is it for our... Met Gala judgment. review. Honestly, I just had a lot of fun doing this. I've never done a video like this. I've always been the one that's in the video getting judged. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to like, be the one that's out on the outside looking in. Honestly, at the end of the day, you guys, like I said, my opinions, they're just they opinions. Everyone song, has yeah. one. And honestly, at the end of the day, like these people are at the Met Gala in 2019. Great. We're not, like we're in the house the watching. Grade A celebrity side. That's like A plus, A plus, A plus. So at crazy. the end of the day, they're winning. Yeah. Even if Killing you me. hate their outfits, hate what they look like, hate anything about them, they're at the Met Gala, dude. And this is also like, <laughs> this theme was like, obviously there's gonna be a lot it's of bold. like, I don't like that because it's, it's bold. a lot of crazy It's outlandish, it's different. Then You're you fucking wear winning. The fuck they You're tell winning, you and you should be wearing whatever the fuck you the designer wear says to wear. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. Hope you guys have fun watching this. I've never done a video like this before, so let me know what you guys thought of it down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. What is this hair doing? I said it. Wow, that one. Where is it? That little snake. Where did Look, you think that hair is crazy. Look at it. I'm scared. If I feel like if, if I pull your like all your powers are gonna go away. My makeup is so oh. snatched that you have to admit.
at the mirror. Look at the monitor, not me. Yes. Pretty good, pretty good. What's between L and W? A lot of letters. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Exactly. Bitch, if they told me like, hey, I'm gonna need you to wear a piece of tape around your cock, I'd be like, oh my god. Okay. I guess I have it. to wear some cake. <laughs> some cake. Cake. Some tape around my cock. I said cake for tape cock. Cock tape is cake. Cock tape. Sweet tea. Oh my god. I forgot about sweet tea. We can get sweet. I'm so excited to drink sweet tea. Laura just told me how to make sweet tea, and I'm really proud of myself. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Even though uh, Connie's not making it. <laughs> and I hope you're doing it.